At just 28 years old, Patrick Mahomes has certainly achieved more than anyone could have imagined. After seven years in the league and now quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, Mahomes has already won multiple NFL awards that have skyrocketed him to the face of the league. Saying that about a 28-year-old would have resulted in backlash, but not Mahomes. He has already won the Super Bowl and Super Bowl MVP. He is like no other, a man who seems to be on a mission to break all records previously set before him. The NFL quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs has solidified his place as one of the league's top-tier players. His achievements include two Super Bowl victories, where he was named Super Bowl MVP both times. He has been crowned NFL Most Valuable Player twice, in 2018 and 2022, and has won recognition as the NFL Offensive Player of the Year in 2018. Mahomes has consistently demonstrated his talent on the field, earning first-team All-Pro honors twice and second-team All-Pro once. He has been selected for the Pro Bowl five times consecutively from 2018 to 2022. He also claimed titles as the NFL Passing Touchdowns Leader twice in 2018 and 2022, and the NFL Passing Yards Leader in 2022. But how did Mahomes get this good at such a young age? The story of Patrick Mahomes begins in Tyler, Texas, where he was born to Pat and Randy Mahomes. Pat, his father, had a notable career as a pitcher in the major league, spanning 11 years. Growing up, Mahomes embraced a diverse athletic journey playing football, basketball, and baseball as a three-sport athlete. Attending White House High School in Texas, Mahomes not only excelled on the football field but also demonstrated prowess on the basketball court and baseball. Even during his freshman year, Mahomes secured a spot as a starter on the varsity basketball team. By his senior year, he had guided his team to an impressive 28-7 record, boasting an average of 19 points and 8 rebounds per game. His skill set extended to the baseball field, where he garnered recognition as the 35th overall prospect in Texas, as rated by Perfect Game. In senior year, Mahomes pitched a no-hitter with an impressive 16 strikeouts. During his high school football career, Mahomes made impressive strides, achieving 4,619 passing yards and 50 touchdowns, in addition to 948 rushing yards and 15 touchdowns during his senior year. Even with all these results, recruiting outlets like Rivals, ESPN, and 24-7 Sports only rated him as a three-star recruit. His exceptional performance across multiple sports led to his recognition as the Max Preps National Male Athlete of the Year for 2013 to 2014. He committed to playing football and baseball for Texas Tech University, beginning his college football journey as a backup for Davis Webb in his freshman season, Mahomes not only set a Big 12 freshman record for the most passing yards, but also established a new record for the most passing touchdowns in a single game. Despite Texas Tech's 4-8 season, this performance ignited excitement among their fans. Patrick joined the exclusive ranks of five quarterbacks in FBS history to achieve over 4,000 passing yards and 30 touchdowns, along with at least 450 rushing yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. But he knew he had to focus on one sport to play. Mahomes made the decision to concentrate on football and leave the baseball program. He only participated in a few college baseball games, but he acknowledged the profound impact of his early baseball experience on his football skills. Reflecting on his background in baseball, he attributed his improvisational abilities on the football field to his experiences slinging the ball across the diamond as a shortstop, often making throws while off balance. Shifting his focus away from baseball, Mahomes faced high expectations for his junior season. The season concluded with Mahomes leading the country in various categories, including averaging 421 passing yards per game, accumulating 5,052 total offense yards, and scoring 53 total touchdowns. After an impressive college career, Mahomes made the decision to forego his senior year and enter the NFL draft. Despite starting for a relatively short time of less than two and a half seasons, he managed to secure the third spot in school history for passing yards with 11,252 and passing touchdowns with 93. Mahomes was selected by the Kansas City Chiefs as the 10th overall pick in the 2017 draft. Interestingly, the Chiefs acquired this pick after trading the 27th overall pick, a 2017 third-round pick, and their 2018 first-round pick to the Buffalo Bills. While this trade often sparks discussions teasing the Chicago Bears for choosing a different quarterback with the second overall pick, the Bills seemingly had a positive outcome with their selection of Josh Allen, while the Bears continue to search for a reliable answer at the quarterback position. Kansas City's decision to draft Mahomes proved to be a game-changer, leading to remarkable success for the Chiefs. Despite being a high draft pick, Mahomes initially joined the Kansas City Chiefs as a backup to Alex Smith. He made his NFL debut in Week 17 of the 2017 season when the Chiefs rested Smith for the upcoming playoffs. In his first start against the Broncos, Mahomes guided the team to a 27-24 victory, registering 284 passing yards, one interception, and no touchdowns. During the game, after the Broncos tied the score with less than three minutes remaining, 
Mahomes demonstrated remarkable composure, leading his team down the field and positioning them for a game-winning 30-yard field goal as time expired. This performance foreshadowed the success that would follow for both Mahomes and the Chiefs. Just before the Super Bowl that year, the Chiefs surprised many by trading Alex Smith to Washington, showcasing the organization's unwavering confidence in Mahomes by parting ways with their established team leader, who had recently secured back-to-back -back Pro Bowl appearances. During the 2018 season, Mahomes proved why the Kansas City Chiefs had placed their confidence in him. He delivered an outstanding performance, amassing 5,097 passing yards and 50 touchdowns, leading the league in passing touchdowns by a margin of 11. While he ranked second in passing yards behind Ben Roethlisberger, the difference was a mere 32 yards, a remarkable feat considering it was only Mahomes' first full year as a starter in the NFL. His exceptional season earned him the league's MVP award, a Pro Bowl selection, first-team All-Pro honors, and the 2019 ESPY award for Best NFL Player. Notably, Mahomes' success extended beyond individual achievements as he guided the Chiefs to the AFC title game, marking their first appearance since 1993. Although they ultimately succumbed to the New England Patriots, the eventual Super Bowl champions, in a thrilling 37-31 overtime encounter, Mahomes' leadership shone through. The following season, in 2019, Mahomes experienced a slight decline in numbers due to missing two games because of injury. Nevertheless, he concluded the regular season with 4,031 passing yards and 26 touchdowns, impressively limiting his interceptions to just five. The 2019 postseason demonstrated the resilience of the Kansas City Chiefs with Mahomes as their quarterback. In the divisional round against the Texans, the team found themselves trailing 24-0 in the second quarter. However, they made a stunning comeback, scoring 41 unanswered points and securing a 51-31 victory, with Mahomes contributing 321 passing yards and five touchdowns. In the conference championship game against the Titans, the Chiefs once again overcame an early deficit winning 35-24 as Mahomes accumulated 294 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, 53 rushing yards, and one rushing touchdown leading his team to their first Super Bowl appearance since 1970. Despite facing double-digit deficits, the Chiefs persisted in the Super Bowl against the 49ers. Trailing 20-10 with less than 10 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, Mahomes led the team to a come-from-behind victory, securing a 31-20 win and earning the title of Super Bowl MVP. His achievement made him the youngest quarterback and the third youngest player in NFL history to receive this honor. Recognizing Mahomes' pivotal role, the Kansas City Chiefs solidified their commitment by offering him an unprecedented contract in the sporting world. In July 2020, Mahomes signed a 10-year extension worth $477 million, with an additional $26 million in potential bonuses, totaling a staggering $503 million. This type of long-term, high-value contract was typically reserved for MLB stars, highlighting the exceptional value and importance the Chiefs placed on retaining Mahomes despite the inherent risks associated with injuries in football. Demonstrating his worth in the 2020 season, Mahomes led the Chiefs to an impressive 14-1 start, recording 4,740 passing yards, 38 touchdowns, and just six interceptions before resting in the final week to prepare for the playoffs. In a role reversal from the 2019 postseason, the Chiefs found themselves struggling to maintain their lead in the 2020 playoffs, notably during the divisional round against the Browns. Following Mahomes' exit from the game in the third quarter due to a concussion, the Chiefs narrowly secured a 22-17 victory. Their journey continued as they confronted the Bills in the AFC title game, facing yet another formidable opponent in their quest for a Super Bowl appearance. Despite a strong start, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs faced a tough challenge from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. With Tampa Bay's relentless defense pressuring Mahomes 29 times, he struggled to find his usual rhythm, resulting in a 31-9 loss for the Chiefs. While Mahomes showed resilience, the game highlighted his vulnerability, emphasizing that even his exceptional skills were not immune to pressure. Meanwhile, Tom Brady's standout performance earned him the title of Super Bowl MVP, underscoring his continued dominance in the league. Over the past three years, Patrick Mahomes has demonstrated exceptional adaptability and leadership, leading the Kansas City Chiefs to remarkable successes. Despite initial challenges, he guided them to a sixth consecutive AFC West title in 2021, showcasing his resilience and earning a Pro Bowl nomination. In the following years, Mahomes set new franchise and league records, including a historic $210.6 million contract in 2023, solidifying his impact on the team. His exceptional on-field performance, highlighted by a second Super Bowl MVP title in 2022, and multiple career milestones, solidifies his position as one of the league's most formidable quarterbacks, setting a standard of excellence in the NFL. 
Patrick Mahomes continues to raise the bar for the sport. With a strong focus on leading the Kansas City Chiefs to continued success, Mahomes always meets the occasion. As anticipation builds for the next MVP title, we eagerly await Mahomes' talent and leadership. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the world of NFL and football.